ready for a mind-blowing revelation that will send shivers down your spine. The rapture, an event of biblical proportions, is on the horizon. But what is it, and what does it mean for you? In today's video, we're about to unravel the mystery behind the imminent rapture. The rapture, the event where believers are taken up to be with Jesus Christ, is approaching rapidly. The signs are becoming clear, pointing to this event happening soon. This is a crucial moment in Christianity, as it marks the beginning of a seven-year period known as Daniel's 70th week, or the time of Jacob's trouble, often referred to as the seven-year tribulation. The anticipation is growing because the shadows of the upcoming tribulation are already being seen in the world. The rapture must occur before the Antichrist's rise and the tribulations start. The pace of these signs is astonishing. They are no longer unfolding daily or even hourly. It's happening almost every second. The events that are predicted to occur during the tribulation are leaving their mark on the world today. It's a strong indication that we are on the verge of significant prophetic events. The signs are undeniable, and as we witness these happenings, it becomes increasingly clear that the rapture of the church is imminent. How is it happening? WorldCoin is making a big change in how we prove who we are online. When someone gets their eye scanned by WorldCoin, they get a world ID. This ID is not your actual eye scan. It's like a secret code created using zero knowledge proofs, a kind of math. Imagine it's like having a special key that can unlock many doors on the Internet, just like how Google lets you use one account for many websites. But there's a big difference. With WorldCoin, your ID is super safe, and no one can link it to your email, name, or picture. So it's like having a secret online name that only you know. Alex Blania, the CEO of WorldCoin, says that this new way of proving who you are online is coming, whether you like it or not. He believes that soon everyone who wants to use the Internet will have to show they are a real person, and WorldCoin or something like it will be in charge of making sure of that. To make this happen, WorldCoin has created a special device called the Orb. It's like a machine that can scan your eye. The plan is for this Orb to scan the eyes of every person on Earth. The goal behind all of this is not just to watch what people do online, but also to give everyone access to financial tools that are open to everyone and not controlled by any one group. They want to make sure that these tools are available to all. Why is WorldCoin facing criticism? WorldCoin's approach of scanning people's eyes for cryptocurrency has faced criticism, with some calling it dystopian and similar to bribery. Many understandably have reservations about giving their biometric data to a private, profit-driven startup with unclear intentions. Even Sam Altman, the project's leader, recognized the uneasiness it raises, referring to a clear ick factor. WorldCoin claims that the biometric data collected by the orbs is deleted once it's turned into a secret code using cryptography. However, past incidents of tech companies mishandling data have left people wary. Some worry that these iris scans might be misused for surveillance or sold to other companies. Edward Snowden, a well-known whistleblower, cautioned against using biometrics for such purposes, emphasizing that the human body should not be treated like a mere ticket or entry pass. This skepticism reflects concerns about privacy and data security in an increasingly digital world. Why is this significant? We all know that in the context of end times Bible prophecy, particularly in Revelation chapter 13, we anticipate certain events unfolding. First, there's the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ, which could happen any day now. After this, the Antichrist will become known. However, we're not yet in the period called the Tribulation. During this upcoming Tribulation period, a system will be established that can keep track of and watch over every person worldwide. This system will have the power to control all buying and selling. That's why stories like the one we're discussing are incredibly significant. What makes this so important is that we're moving closer to the kind of system described in the book of